Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to take a look at a couple of lighters that at one point I thought might both be beyond repair, or at least beyond my ability to salvage and sell them on an individual basis. Uh, the right one, the Camel, is definitely a good lighter with a good solid hinge. The hinge on the military lighter on the left, not so much. But they were both so horribly dirty. The Camel in the inside of the case the military lighter on the outside of the case I don't know what it had something sticky um, I don't know I didn't want any part of it so at different times and several months apart they got vinegar baths and that did away with the dirty part the camel took forever to uh, soak it out and get all that carbon or whatever was stuck up in the lid but then just over the last couple days I decided to polish them to get them cleaner. In hindsight, after looking at the instructions that I have from a brass Zippo lighter, perhaps I should have just tried the Scotch-Brite pad before polishing them. But whatever, I'm glad to get the experience and I'm also glad to see how the polish behaved with the metal. This USS Enterprise CBN65 ready on arrival. is a 2006 made in January looks like it has a dent in the bottom from where the flint spring screw has protruded too far too low I didn't do much to the insert I may have changed the wick out, I can't remember. Maybe not. I may have just pulled it up, I think. But there was a huge spot right over the middle here, which I don't think you can even see anymore. And there were also horrible stains and spots all over the back. Some of which you can still see maybe didn't get polished out here. But the filthiness and the dirtiness that covered the outside of this case is gone. Thanks to the vinegar and a good working over with some semi-chrome and a I can't remember the kind of rag if it's a lint free or a microfiber or whatever kind of rag it was and the crazy thing was when I went back afterward to start finding pictures so that I could show you in the video how bad the lighter looked the lot that I bought this lighter in they didn't even have pictures of it I counted 76 lighters in that lot in the pictures and then there were at least eight Zippos which there were no Zippos in the pictures and at least a couple other lighters that I ran across later that I didn't see in the pictures crazy how some people list lighters but I'm not going to complain about that 
If you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button. Send that link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like Dependable Flame and DependableFlame.com across all the social media platforms. That will be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. I did a video on this lighter before, I believe, after it got its vinegar bath. And it was just sort of a washed out, dull look. You can still see some damage, some, I don't know if that was corrosion or if that's a scratch. Another mark there up higher definitely some scuffs on the back here along the side you can see and a dent but just polishing it up with the semi-chrome a little really took that dirt out and brought a lot of I mean you should have seen the rags but I believe if you look at the Zippo instructions, that I probably could have got it just as clean by just using a Scotch Bright pad instead of the polish. But I don't know. It's pretty dirty. But I may use Scotch Bright Pad now to scuff this up. It looks a little sides here, okay. Top and the bottom. Guess I should have shown you. This is a uh, 1992, so the 60 year anniversary. But the sides are fine with the slicker look, but the front and back should be a little rougher. So I may do that. We'll see. I haven't really decided what to do with either one of these lighters yet. Whether to list them. Make sure you get over to eBay and check out the DependableFlame.com store. Every purchase that you make there will benefit HDSA, Huntington's Disease Society of America, with at least 10% of each purchase going to that charity. We also have three penny start auctions each month where 100% of the proceeds of those listings go to HDSA. I provide free shipping. High bidder pays the money which all goes to the charity. They get the lighter and everybody is happy. than anything was done to this insert other than it cleaned up and maybe pulled the wick up and clipped it off. So as I said, my main purpose for this video was to show you how the vinegar and the semi-chrome had cleaned up this brass very nice definitely if you don't like the tarnished look or sometimes just the flat out filthiness of it then I would consider cleaning them with those products 
this camel Zippo case was in the 30% vinegar for several days and it didn't seem to damage the weld or anything but as I said I do believe I will rough this up and see if I can get it looking a little bit more the way that it should look as I decide what to do with it it doesn't even have any fuel in it my friend Montas has me wanting to light lighters that don't even have fuel in them until next time